Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to assign an IP address to your Kyocera copier. That way it could uh, be connected to your network. Uh, so let's get started. I'm going to be using a Kyocera Task Alpha 2552CI. This is a little bit on the older side. Uh, but it's it's all the same process. If you're using a newer machine, you're just you're going to see the difference on your screen where you're just going to have a screen without any of the buttons. But it's not a big deal. It's it just work your way around it. It should still be the same process. So uh, first thing you need to do is I'm going to connect this machine to my network via a hard wire. I recommend always a hard wire. But if you have a wireless uh, ethernet connection on your machine that you'll go wireless but there's nothing better than wired if you ask me so i'm going to connect my machine uh with a wireless cable so let's get started first thing you got to do is hit system menu here go to the next page system network now you got to log on as admin you got to type in your username and password. The default username and password for Kyocera's is admin capital A. So you're going to select uppercase A, lowercase D M I N. You're going to do the same for the password, uppercase A, lowercase D M I N, admin. And uh, then you're going to select login. If this keyboard kind of bugs you and gets in the way, just hit the little X there and it goes away. So login. So if you cannot log in and if it said you got the wrong password, then you definitely have to call the company who you purchased the machine from and let them uh, reset that admin password for you. So let's uh, move on. Uh, next step you're going to do is select a network tab here. Then I'm going to select here wired network setting because my machine's wired. Now, um, okay, we're going to select TCP IP settings. Uh, so, but before we go forward, if you already have an IP address that you want to assign the uh, machine, you want to put it on a static, and I'll show you that in just a second. But if you don't have a specific IP address, the machine can pick one up for you using the DHCP automatic. Uh, it will automatically pick up the a free IP address within your range. So, uh, I'm going to show you both in just one second here. So, okay, once we're here, we're going to select the IPv4, collect ch select change. As you can see, I have my auto DHCP uh, turned on. But if you have a, if you, if you are, like I said, if you have a IP address, submasking gateway IP address that you already want to assign it, just select off here. Go to the next one, select this off, as well as the DNS server. You're going to manually put yours in there. Uh, whichever DNS or you could even leave this one on if you like uh, and this is so now if, if you've seen when it was on it was grayed out but now you can go into the IP address and type in any number you want right here any number you want okay I'm going to clear it and then once you do that you move to your sub mask you do the same and your gateway Again, assuming that you have it. Now, for those of you who don't have a specific IP address or know how to find one in your network, let the copier do it for you. So you're gonna first come over here to the, to the DHCP. You're gonna turn that on. You're gonna do the same for the auto IP, turn that on. And of course, for the DNS, you're gonna uh, turn that on. You select that, make sure it's an auto DHCP. So you could exit from here, close, you could even hit the home button. Now you have to power the machine off and power it on. Okay, so there's two ways to do it. Uh, on this machine, there's a button right here, a sub power button here. You could do that or you can do the hard switch, which is located on the bottom right. Either way, it's fine. So turn it off, wait a couple seconds, turn it back on and print out your status page, which I've done earlier, but I'll show you how to print it out just now. You select menu, you go to reports, you print, you select print report and select status page and you select yes. Okay, I'm not gonna do that now. No sense in wasting, so I'm gonna select no here. And this is what it's gonna do. So it's gonna print out your status page. And towards the bottom left is where you would see uh, if the machine picked up an IP address. 
Uh, so mine picked it up at 192.168.0.123. So I had mine on DHCP. So that's all. Um, go ahead and uh, go to your computer. Now that you have the IP address of your copier, go ahead to your computer. Make sure you can ping to it. And that's it, guys. You're done. Now you can move on with setting up the print and scan features. And we do have videos for that as well. Thanks for watching.